now and he's hoping that it might wash it out is what he says uh, you know I guess take the good with the bad yeah right? there we, you we've go. got coastal exactly. flooding right now you heard Jace talking mm -hmm. about how we have a big swath of wind yes. moving in and that wind is coming in really across the entire Gulf of Mexico we talked about the function of our elevated wind speeds here it's the big high to the northeast of us and this low what is now Alberto to our south and the difference between these areas of pressure is what's giving us the channel for not only the moisture but the wind and that that wind crossing the entire Gulf is what's pushing the waters up to higher than normal levels. I went ahead and kind of gathered all of the peak high tides that I could find today, nearly three feet at the Texas State Aquarium, sea drift about two and a half feet over in San Antonio Bay, and then Rockport, Port Aransas both had uh, some high tides in three feet in Rockport, four and a quarter feet in Port Aransas. So that's why the flooding started happening on our coastline. We're still catching not only the wind, but the rain with it. And this rain again, there's going to be pockets of heavy rain uh, falling from these tropically induced showers moving in from the Gulf of Mexico. And now they're spreading farther into Texas. San Antonio starting to get moderate rain, and a lot of this is going to soak the watershed. We'll see how much falls again. We're not done with the rain chances. I know that maybe the totals may have seemed disappointing to you today. For some of you, others got a bunch of rain, but we're still going to see a little bit more rain come in overnight tonight and tomorrow around this broad circulation. It's Alberto, 40 mile per hour tropical storm. It will move into Tampico. Mexico tonight as a tropical storm. You see how expansive that wind field is. Tropical storm force conditions as far north as South Texas, and it's bringing a lot of wave action with it. And these waves, look at how they're so far north of center. This is that same function, that channel, the high to the north, the broad low to the south, and the difference between the two. That's where the winds are, that's where the waves are, and it's pushing them right into, again, the big portion of the Texas Gulf Coast. So we're expecting 10 foot waves at a 10 second period here tomorrow. That will keep the coastal flooding happening, especially around high tide time. It'll also keep the seas rough, so rip current risk very high. The waves relax heading into the weekend. We've also got a full moon on Friday. That's going to keep coastal flooding in play after Alberto's long gone. So coastal flood warnings are still out there. Tides running two to three feet above the normal levels. That's what's sending in the coastal flooding. Some coastal erosion also happening and beaches are flooded. Roads near area beaches are flooded as well as lower lying areas. So these impacts they're going to be with us through Thursday because the wind field will still be influencing us and we'll have that strong onshore flow uh, through Thursday as this system moves in again to Mexico north of Tampico tomorrow. We're still going to have stuff moving in. Some of this could be heavy, could have a feeder band set up. This is what the simulated radar showing here. If that's a little farther north into our area, we could easily tack on several more inches of rain to what we've already seen. Isolated stuff continues here on Friday. So updated rain totals. I, I definitely lowered it, but we still could see widespread places getting up to around six inches of rain. We saw a lot of Aransas County get there. Parts of San Patricio County already exceeding that number. So rain still coming and we've been talking about the week's worth of rain in the forecast here, not just for today. So beneficial rain across the board here, even in the watershed and that rain chance will slowly step down Thursday. We're looking at widely scattered stuff and then Friday. I think it gets down more uh, to an isolated level. Same place now. This is something we talk about in the tropical season. The Central American gyre. This is active, a broad low pressure system over all of Central America, unsettled weather around it. And as we head into the weekend, early next week, Alberto's under there, but this hatched area is for a new development over the weekend and into early next week in the same exact area, 30% chance. This is the European model. I'm showing this because it handled Alberto the best with respect to what eventually happened with it. You see a broad low Saturday, 
This will slowly move toward Mexico. It may send us additional rainfall by Sunday here before eventually moving in to Mexico. So maybe a one two little punch here. No way to know the specifics yet on what this second possible system may do. Uh, but I do see a break Friday, Saturday, just isolated stuff. It gets warmer with less rain highs back into the low 90s and then acknowledging that possible spin up again with rain in the forecast Sunday, Monday and Tuesday of next week. We'll see how that starts to develop and what it offers us. But for sure, something we're watching here, it looks really similar mm. to what we're seeing with Alberta, especially with respect to track. I'm not ready to say we see another tropical storm out of it, but with respect to the way it moves, they look nearly identical in the modeling. So. All the more reason why we're gonna keep an eye on it. Yeah, another shot at rain.